Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of SevTech Ages. Oh no, did I get? No, there we go. Woo! All right, welcome back, everyone. I thought that would be a nice little meme intro or whatever. Sometimes I hate myself. <laughs> I hope you guys at least got a little chuckle out of it or a little confusion. I'll take either or. Um, so yeah, welcome back to another episode. Um, I'm going against my better judgment, and I'm recording this episode right after the last, or at least a piece of it. I don't know. I might piece it together um, on different days. It just depends. So as you saw there, I was collecting some coal because we were getting pretty low. I went through, and I was trying to replace a lot of our torches um, that were very... Uh, what's the word for it they weren't very effective they uh, didn't give off a lot of light they were those um ones that you can craft at the start of the game using oh what is this oh are you kidding me there was azurite right here Ooh, okay so there's some azurite here so i'm gonna want to mark this bad boy off all right so we'll definitely want to come back here um, but yeah, I was just, um, oh, I was like, what is that noise? It was, uh, I have some wolves. There's more Azerite over here, actually. Oh, damn. So we actually found some really good one right here. So yeah, it's somewhere down there is some Azerite, which is copper, I believe, right? I believe so. This, that wolf's going at it. Um, anyway, I'm getting distracted here. So I was uh, getting some more coal so we could uh, actually produce some stuff because um, obviously we need coal in order to uh, cook stuff up and everything like that. So I went over and I got a little over two stacks. Um, I figured that would be good to get us going and keep us up and running. Oh, there's another cow here. Do I have any? I do not. Never mind. I was thinking if I had some wheat on me, I could bring them up. But uh, there is some over here that we could get. But I'm going to wait. We did that a lot last episode. I don't want to keep repeating our um, what we're doing every single time. But yes, yeah, since I am recording after the last episode, I am still drinking my very cold coffee. It is quite disappointing. Oh, my Atlanta. It is quite disappointing that it's cold, but you know, you got to... Gotta have what you gotta have. I need some coffee. So, I went through and I added some lights to go across over there. I have us some more coal. I'm going to put it away up in our little safe. And as we were discussing in the last episode, we were trying to figure out what our next steps are going to be. Because, I'm going to carry about a half stack with me. I think that'll be good. We do have a raw fish. We can cook that bad boy up. And put that away. Put that bone in there. All right, I think we're pretty much cleaned up for now. But yeah, I was trying to figure out what our next steps would be. Because if we look at our listing here, we are in age one and we can continue down this path. We, um, Everything going forward is like necromancy. And uh, I don't know if I want to go that way just yet. Um, okay, sorry about that. Just checking the time and um, what I have going on later today. So anywho, regardless of that, um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what our next path would be. And one of the things I had considered is crafting up a cart, maybe getting some horses over here and getting, uh, getting some of these going, like the chop chop. That would be kind of cool. Horse powered chopper. So we need to attach a horse using a lead and insert items to automatically chop them. That would be kind of cool to do. Um, we did lose our lead, unfortunately. We can craft a grindstone, which would be kind of good. Um, among horses, you can use parrots, buffalo, pigs, cows, llamas, and wolves to work. So, I'd, I'm guessing that 
If we can use any of those to power this one, we could use any of them to do this one. But I don't know really how it works that well. So, I mean, we could go out and tame a horse and bring it back. We don't have a lead, unfortunately, because it broke. But we could make this. We, we need two leads for that. We need two leads for all of them, which is a bit of a bummer. Oof. The leads aren't cheap because you need these leather, leather cordage and, oh, you could use a spindle to make that instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you use leather strips and a spindle, so four leather strips, you'll get that. And a leather strip is made with that, with leather. Um, I did not, since I am recording it right after the last one, I did not look up how to use that other thing because I didn't feel like it, so... All right, get that organized. We could do that. We could get a lead going and everything like that, but I'm kind of feeling more along the lines of checking out some of these aqueducts and stuff like that, especially this channel. So this is like a weird one, and I don't know if it's... I think, yeah, from what I'm reading here, so here, I'm sorry, let me read this for you guys. A channel is a great way to transport liquids from tanks and other sources. When placing down the channel, follow the arrow on the top and right click to change directions. Pour liquids onto the channel using a normal or porcelain faucet. So this is for our heater right here. And uh, it's if we want to have it kind of flow in a uh, different way. So if we look up channel, so we have unfired, uh, we need porcelain for it, of course. And then we have to go through all of that to make that. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that, to make the porcelain and everything like that. So maybe we'll hold off on that. We could do it eventually if we wanted to. We do have this, craft the portal frame just like you would another portal. So we need... Let's see, but do you need... Um, what's the word? Obsidian for this? Because that would be insane if we need obsidian for it right off the bat. We don't have anything to carry it. We could do the bottom of the barrel and extensions and stuff like that. So, or the aqueduct, aqueducts. How do you make the aqueducts? Um, if I could spell. Ah. Uh, Aqua, aqueducts, I'm an idiot. All right, aqueduct with different materials. We don't know that, we don't know that. Could use sandstone aqueducts or some of these. Dark, oh, I don't think we knew that. Don't know that. I mean, we know it, but we don't, we don't have it, unfortunately. Could use normal stone, so some stone and then some clay which we would need a press for. So you kind of... Oh wow, you need a lot of space for that too. So for the press to work, a 7x7 seven seven and 2 block high area is needed. The press needs to be placed in the middle. So we need to attach a horse with a lead to do that. And that was... um. Go back to age zero. That was the last one on here, pressing your luck. And you can use that to make the clay blocks that we would need. Hmm. Yeah, because this does put us in a bit of a pickle here. Because realistically, this is out of the question unless we go back and we finalize this, which we could. We could do the bottom of the barrel stuff, but I don't know if we really have a point for it right now. Like sewer pipes and stuff like that, barrels. Like, I don't know if we need these just yet. We could just go and keep going for this. So the Necronomicon. Maybe we will just go this path. Now looking at it, Uh, how do we do this? Holy smokes, we, what? Where do you get that? 
plant cloth. Okay, that's easy enough to make. But then you need this, which is that flesh. Ah, okay. And then you just chop it. Do we have any of that? Um, we have... Oh, that's not what I wanted. We have four of these. And one of these. Well, how many should we need? We needed four. Oh, well, I guess we do have it. Well, perfect. Um, so we can do that. And then we need rotten flesh, though. And I don't think we have any rotten flesh. I typically pitch it because I never think it's useful. So we might have to do some zombie hunting, honestly. Luckily, it is dark out, so we could go do that. We'll also need to get some plant fibers while we're out there because I always craft... Craft. I always craft them into twine. And um, this requires leather or oh no 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 it does use twine okay so we can't use our twine you don't need the fiber you just need the twine okay cool so we just need to get four come on buddy we need to get four rotten flesh which i don't think would be too hard to get we just got to find some zombies our sword is not doing too hot though i probably should have grabbed another one when i was in there all right so we got to just hunt around and find some zombies. I feel like, of course, you know, when I want to find zombies, they're never around. Oh, there's some skeletons, of course. Get him, boy. Oh, it's chasing him away. The skeleton doesn't even want to attack. It's also kind of nice with this, uh, with this mod pack that skeletons do not have bows and arrows, at least yet. There we go. Don't think that was enough. We got three, so we need one more. Uh, but yes, the skeletons, which I guess I didn't realize before, um, they don't have bows and arrows, which would suck. That would really suck to have to fight those off. Oh no, my guy, don't die. Okay, he avoids the creepers. I'm so proud. Alright. Yeah, like just imagine if the oh my gosh, there's another creeper here. Just imagine if the uh skeletons had bows and arrows. How rough that would be in this game. Like you start off so primitive, and then on top of that you would have to fight off. Oh my gosh, where's my dog at? Get a boy. Good boy. You'd have to fight off skeletons with bows and arrows with only a sword. Because I don't think you can craft a bow and arrow yet. If I'm not mistaken. Um, no, I'm not going to look it up right now. But we did get our four rotten flesh, which is what we needed. So we can head back to the base, craft up our necrom necronomicon. Our necro book. <laughs> um, and see what that is going to have us do from there, I guess. So we're at like, what, 115 or something like that up there. Just imagine how high that is over there. It's probably like, I don't know, close to 200, I would assume. We didn't have anyone following us, did we? Just our good boy. Who's our good boy? Oh, <clears throat> I didn't realize he could eat the, the rotten flesh. Oh, no. We can't make rotten flesh, can we? No, we can't. We can't make it. Dang it. I didn't realize he could eat it. Ah, uh, So we, I accidentally fed our dog one of the rotten fleshes that we needed. We only had four exactly. So now we need to go out and hope to find... A freaking zombie that survived the night. What? There's a villager out here. What are you doing way out here? There's no thing around here, is there? You don't have a house around here, buddy, do you? What the heck? That's weird. It's weird that a villager is way out here. All right, come on. There's got to be. There's got to be a zombie. 
were hiding in the tree somewhere. Oh, what is this? There's some coal here too. Cool. Should probably mark it on our map. Nothing of interest up to 48. Nothing. Oh, damn. It must be really low down then. Because we're like 100 up or something like that, so. Come on, one zombie? That's all I'm asking for. I guess it's too hard to ask for in the middle of the day. What's down? We, we have our um, village here. See the trees are growing in on the um, on the farms that never had stuff growing on them. Oh, it's such a bummer. I was hoping that we could get another zombie. I'm sure if we walked around long enough, we'd probably be able to find one. But I think this... I mean, we might just have to wait until nightfall. But I think this is probably the best path for us to go. Ooh. Oh, we did bring our dog with us. Is to uh, get the necromancy stuff going. Because, I mean, realistically, I, I mean, we could do the horse stuff. But I don't know. I'm not really... What is that? Oh, it's a bunny. I'm not really into it. Like, I'm not really feeling the horse stuff. It's cool. It's, you know, a nice option to be able to have. But, um, we gotta get leather going and everything like that. And I'm a little tired out of trying to make leather in this game. Realistically, I probably should have looked up how to use that device. Just in my chair here. How to use that uh, wooden basin. But did I? I did not. So, we are where we are now. So, I guess I'm going to just wander around or wait till it's nightfall until we can find another zombie. Get our one more rotten flesh. And then uh, get this book crafted up and see where we got to go from there. So, we will be back in just a little bit. Alright guys, we are back. It has... So, again, I got distracted. Um, I did grab our flesh. We got our we got five now, actually, instead of just four. Um, but I went a little overboard. I was out here, and I had to wait until it was dark out in order to get the zombie flesh. Because unfortunately, none of them spawned when it was raining out. And so, um, in the meantime, I kind of started excavating a little bit. So, I, I tore out this whole entire area here. And I started making our path go even farther. I don't really think it's like the most efficient way to do this. Um, but I was just kind of bored. And so, I just started making this pathway. <laughs> Um, that can go this way and then maybe once we get over there we craft the tunnel or something like that because if we keep going this way we have a lot of our ores and stuff which we found out this way and uh, if we just had you know a bridge or some kind of pathway that went straight there that'd be kind of nice but we'll, we would have to cut through that whole entire mountain when we do get out here so I don't know I'm debating it's kind of cool um, we could always cut down the uh the tunnel a little bit but god what is that is that a freaking bear that is a bear okay okay no 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 all right let's get the hell out of there mm. oh! rip the rip the freaking headphones i'm sorry fam if you had headphones holy smokes i literally had a heart attack Oh, God dang. Oh, that was scary. More trees up here. I did have to cut down all these trees. So uh, if we get some more growing here, that'd be kind of nice. Holy crap, that scared the poop out of me. They like hunch up and everything like a normal like grizzly bear would do. It's terrifying. All right. 
let's see. Hopefully some of these will just grow. And it'll uh, look nice or something. I don't know. But yeah, so now we have a pathway at least decently far. But it goes uh, straight back to the base. Um, so we literally can just hit forward and just keep running. I mean, granted, going up and down. Um, we don't have to worry about that in this game because... You don't have to jump to go up a block. You just automatically do, which is very, very nice. Um, and we have so many resources. It's insane. All right, let's get rid of those. Get rid of all those and that. We're getting so full up on stuff. It's not even funny. Okay, can we... We can merge into here. Okay, that took everything. There's so much plant twine. Um, we have a ton of plant fiber, I didn't just realize, so let's craft that into more twine and stick that away. We have so many trees, <laughs> so many saplings. Um, let's get rid of this. I did pick up some potatoes and carrots because I saw that recipe, I believe it was in the last episode, um, for, Ooh, we don't have enough coal in there like 16 for like that stew or the, the the meal or whatever and so i figured that uh since i was out there i'd pick them up and we can uh we can make that meal so we'll have to cook up the carrots and then the potatoes which isn't bad so we do have our necromonic necronomicon i'm going to mispronounce that every single time i have to read it but we got it crafted, that was not too bad to do. This boy is crafting up. What was it? Oh, we just hit U, right? Oh, not in there. We had to be, if we get out of this, we go to this, like so, U. Yeah, if we used a cooked carrot and a cooked potato, it makes the steak dinner. And it makes three. Like, that is not a bad deal at all. So we'll get those cooking up here, and let's take a peek in this book. So, Forbidden Knowledge Spellbook, Rituals, What is This Book? Obtaining Knowledge and Miscellaneous Information. So let's read What is This Book? Um, more pages? Okay, there's, yeah, four, four pages we got to read here. So, I guess this will be in our, our introduction into necromancy with the necromon, non, the necronomicon. There we go. I have to look at it to say it right. <laughs> but, okay, let's read this. So what is this book? This is the Necronomicon. Got it. A book written by Abdul Alhazarid. Oh, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. I did my best. Also known as the... Okay, I'm not going to read that because it's lame. The book uh, contains knowledge about the great old ones, their names, and how to summon them. There's also information about spells and rituals the book can perform. The Necronomicon itself is a chapter of the Abysnalnomicon, which was read to Alhazard by a demon known as Jazar, who had composed the from the infinite knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> They're trying to set it up like there's a story behind this, but like, I don't know. I, I'm not one who needs the story. Like, I'm sure there's some people who's like, I need to understand why this is in my world. But um, I think my coffee is kicking in because I'm bouncing off the walls a little bit. And yes, I am still drinking my cold coffee that I mentioned before, even though it's been like 30 or 45 minutes since that point. All right, so there are four types of necronomicons within the abys abysmalnomicon. The necro, the abysmal wasteland necro, the dreadlands, and the omphthenol, each with knowledge bound to a specific dimension. In order to unlock the knowledge, one must travel to said dimension and empower the necromonic necronomicon with the flesh of that world. Oh, okay. Um, it contains, okay, cool. So that's about it. Y'all can read through anything additional that I missed over in that. So, uh, we have forbidden knowledge. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here and I'm guessing this blubbity goop is uh, stuff we don't know yet. So you can look at a, at a abysmal craft. 
The mod, which this book is used to guide you through, it's mainly focused on exploration with four new dimensions you can explore. The dimensions are reached through the use of gateway keys, which are keys designed to create portals between the dimensions. The fourth dimension is reached by falling out of the third. Oh, that's not confusing. Uh, the overworld has been expanded with six new biomes, the Darklands, which we visited, and the Coralium infested swamp. There is also five new types of stone and 15 ores found throughout the overworld and the dimensions. I don't know how this stuff works though um, with the other mod that we have. I'd be kind of interested to know how the ores work. Uh, apart from exploring, Abysmal Craft introduces its own type of magic through the use of rituals in order to worship the great old ones. So it's very similar to what we did before for the Dance of the Dance of Spring or something like that. Whatever th those were called, where we had the totems and everything like that. Um, we used it ba basically to get the, the advancements, and then we kind of just set them to the side because realistically... I mean, we could take a back look and see if there's anything that we would want in that, but I don't think there would be anything additional we would want to do. Um, but obviously, we can always take a look. But anyway, page six. Apart from the magic and exploration, there's also machines allowing you to transmute, crystallize, and materialize objects. There's also a corn, corn, coin engraver. So, how do I get out of this? Do I have to go all the way back? There we go. Interesting. Okay, so that's what we have. Um, I don't want to read through everything. Let's take our steak. We have our cooked potatoes and our carrots. Wow, that, that does... I mean, it doesn't give us... It gives us the same amount of hunger, so four. But it gives us actually less um, of the saturation. You get more saturation with the steak. But when you put them all together, you actually get less saturation. But considering you get three out of it, I don't think that's a bad deal necessarily. Let's just craft up those. I mean, 15, and we can create a steak and potatoes. That's not bad. Let's grab those too. Why not? Is there anything we can use the fish for? So fish and bread, you can make a sandwich. Um, what else do we have with the steak? I'm just kind of curious. So this was the only stuff. Okay, so you can make... A crated steak. Why? Why would you create a crated steak? I mean, can you store more steaks in there? Oh, I wonder if you can create a crate a crated um one for cobblestone. I, I would freaking love that. Cacti, rabbit. Oh, I don't think so. A wooden crate. But can you store stuff in the wooden crate? And that takes a chest. But did, oh, we can make chests normally now. What am I thinking? I can literally make a normal chest now. But I think a crate would be great. Because um, you can hold more in it, I believe. Unless it's just... Uh, unless it's just for show. I think we can make it, right? Because this would be perfect for our wood and our co or our um, cobblestone and our dirt. We have a place we could realistically put these bad boys. I could move this TP because uh, realistically, not really. We haven't used this in a while. It looks cool, but we have not used it in quite some time. So maybe I'll just plop these bad boys right here. Yes, you can use a crate. I don't I think you can store yeah you can store multiple stuff in there. What does this give us? Three it gives us six rows. What does this give us? Four rows. I don't know what a normal chest gives us. Maybe two or three rows. Um uh, but anywho, let's grab all of this cobble. Or at least as much as we can carry for right now. This will be our cobblestone chest. Um, I'll keep the 64 on me. And let's grab the dirt. Cool. Just to get that out of there. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then we put all these in here. Keep like 32 on me. I don't need that. 
We do have our TP. We can just set it up somewhere else, I guess. Could put it over here. There we go. Yeah, I'll just keep it over there. <laughs> That's cool. Can we make like an item, a frame? We can. Item frame. We need a wet, we need wet leather. You, can you not use normal leather? I'm confused. Oh, and then you need these things around it, which we don't have a saw yet. Okay, that's not worth it. We can make the racks though, right? But I don't think... Yeah, we can't do those because we don't have iron yet. And I don't know if we can store... Like, can we put... You can. Okay, that's pretty cool. Put this bad boy back. Let's make some racks. Uh, I know I'm getting off track here, but... Uh... Grab those, and then I think I have one sitting around, don't I? Do. Perfect. Okay. And then if we just take these bad boys and go like that, get two item racks. Shift click onto there, shift click onto there. That one's that, and that one's that. Perfect. That looks so cool. Okay, so now we know what we got here. Oh, unfortunately, that's going to happen when we hit it, though. Should we put them behind it? It might be better if we put them behind it. So we don't hit it all the time when we go to open it. So boom and boom. That looks pretty cool. It's hard to see the cobblestone, unfortunately. Um, we might actually be able to just make it free floating. Oh yeah, we can. Cool. Let's just do that then. I think that looked really nice. <laughs> it looks so random. It's not supposed to f be like that. Uh, okay, what else do we have that we could use? We got this cobblestone we could use. Could we make fences? Would fences look weird? I feel like fences would look weird. Well, we got one. We would on we would only need one more. All right. Yeah, okay, we got four. Why not? Let's try the fences. <laughs> uh, okay, one, two, three, four. How does that look? Oh, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like it's holding them up there. That's actually kind of cool how it connects. So, perfect. So that will be our cobblestone, and that will be our dirt. <laughs> so lame. All right, eat some steak and potatoes. What are we doing on time? 30 minutes in? Not too bad. Um, I think it is really cool that we could do this. We did all that, and now we were going to check what the next step is. So they do have this altar, the blood altar. The altered state. Do we, do we even know obsidian yet? We don't. So how do you make that? I'm a little curious. Um, all right. So the next one here is the trophy case. To perform dark rituals, you will need to collect statues to power your necronomicon. Find a um, something layer in the swamp and river biomes. After six or more spawn, they will eventually erect a monolith with a statue on top. Or craft a statue using the Shagoth flesh. Consult this for more information. The the Necronomicon. Um okay. Maybe in the overworld? And oh, nope, nope, nope. Can we go back? Back. Entities. Um Oh, that goes all the way to the end. Zombie, depth ghouls, shadow creatures. That sounds horrible. We don't know those. Shadow beasts. And we don't know any of those. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. I'm a little confused here. Um, I'm sorry. Let's um, let's take a peek at this again. What was it? Shawgoth. Shaw. Oh. There's biomass ooze. Ah, here we go. This is what we wanted. Ah, okay. So those are those things that were down there that we were fighting. Um, that we have these for. But what was it saying? It said some way that we can craft it using it. Or craft a statue using it. Uh, a monolith with a statue on top. I could spell. Statue. Okay, there's a ton of different friggin' statues. This is not helpful. Decorative statues? I don't think we want decorative ones. I think we want these boys. Oh, it's, it is the decorative one. And you would need this. Oh, I hit the freaking wrong. We would need the stone, gray dye powder, and clay to make this. The monoloths. How, how? How do you make this stone? Okay. Oh. Holy smokes. Yeah, for some reason, we don't know this stuff yet. Okay. Um, okay. Or what is this? The blood altar. <laughs> Let's see what the blood altar has to offer. How do we craft you, good sir? What the heck is this? Demonic will? Where do you find this? Can be obtained by killing a mob with a sentient weapon or by throwing a snare at a mob and killing it while it has white particles a what a sentient weapon sentient sentient sword we need a hellfire forge i'm beyond confused how do we do this then do you guys understand <laughs> let me know in the comments the blood altar what the heck? Let me make sure there wasn't any other way. Yeah, this is the only way to make it. We need bronze, which we have. We have everything except the demonic will, which maybe we need to get from the hunting realm. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to go to this, the hunt or be hunted, which I do not know how to um, get to. Um. Okay. Give me one minute. Let me do a little Googling and see what we got to do for this. Because if we don't know obsidian, what do we need to make this out of? Um, unless there's stuff that are already in the world that we've seen before. So give me one moment. We will be right back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roughly. All right, guys. So I figured it out, and I hope I paused my recording. I'll I'll check in post, see if it if it stopped or not. But anywho, I looked it up because I don't know anything, and um, I figured out what we need to do. So you craft it the same way you would craft another portal like it is right what it's saying um but you need to craft them with these hunting dimension frame that's what you need and it's actually pretty easy to make you just need a sword and then the um wood logs around it like so and we'll need about 10 three on each side so six yeah three on each side two on top and bottom so 10. so uh if we make probably three batches of these we should be good to go and luckily i did bring i did get a lot of wood and i do have a sword which we'll probably want to craft another sword uh, before we go hopping into this place um i kind of also want to leave these behind i'll hold on to that i do not want to take all of our food i'll leave a decent amount here um i'll leave our second sword here as well 
Um, what else? I don't think we need that many steak dinners on us. Actually, maybe I'll leave that many. I'll leave all of our steak here. Leave our apples here. I'll leave some of our sticks. Most of our plant twine. Um, I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to that. I really should put that down by the river. Okay, cool. So, what is this on this side? Oh. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Accidentally hit the wrong button. So that's what that was. Okay. So we just need to take our sword and go like this. Right? Or do we need certain wood? Fur, iron wood, stripped red cedar, olive wood, iron wood. Okay. Sakura, mulberry, oak stripped. So stripped. So we need it stripped. Oh, maybe, maybe it needs to be a full sword. That could be it too. Let's, uh, I mean, we'll need a new sword anyway, so let's craft a new sword and see if that works because, and well, you know what? It actually makes more sense to strip these anyway because we can always use the oak wood bark. And these work the same way, so. All right, let's get these all around. And before I do that, let me test it with the half used one. Nope. Okay, let's test it with the full one. Yep. And you do lose your sword on it that's kind of sucky so we'll have to make two more like so uses a lot of wood too actually which is all right um where did our sword go all right cool so we got 12 do we want to put it up here we could put it up here I don't know if it makes noise or not. I don't know if it is like another portal or not. So I don't know if we want to necessarily have it so close. Could easily just come down here. Put it like over here. That wouldn't be that bad if we put it like right over here. Hmm. Let's think about this for a minute. We need it to... Yeah, I don't think that would be that bad. All right, let's just um, add some more dirt here. Uh, like so. Get rid of these. Like so. That like that. Oh, my lanta. All right, this is a little ghetto, but you know, it is what it is. I think that would be the best place for it. All right, can we get down here and attempt to fix my mistakes here? Oh, we only have one left. Well, all right. All right. Up we go. Up we go. And around. Up and around. Okay, cool. And then we do one, two. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two. And you know what? We have two extra, so let's just make it look nice anyway. There we go. And hopefully this doesn't just, you know set all the trees around it on fire ah there we go oh okay doesn't sound like it makes any noise it does oh i'm so happy i put it over here that that'd be so annoying so it makes mob sound that would suck if I had it over where I wanted it to be. Um, do I want to take everything with me? Because if I die, that would kind of suck. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. End of the episode here, so let's just explore.
Maybe. We need to shift. Oh, you need to shift into it. Okay. Maybe we should hold down sneak. Hopefully, it didn't crash my game with that. It might take a minute to load it in, which is fine. All right, here we go. We're loading in here. Oh, oh no! Ah, oh, I went to shift so I didn't, so I wouldn't be seen, and uh, <laughs> he was still in the portal. All right, let's go back. Come on. All right, third, the second time's the charm. Everything's loaded in, so it should be fine. Oh, oh my God! It shoots stuff. There's dogs and stuff. Oh, I'm effed. I'm effed. What are those things? We definitely need some better armor if we're going to be in this place. And I don't really... I have some stone on me. So, like, I could craft, like, a little hut. Whoa, this place... I mean, it's cool because it's just dark all the time. At least I'm assuming that it's dark all the time. But uh, if stuff shoots stuff at us, I mean, we're screwed because... Yeah, look at that. That thing's already shooting stuff. Okay. I think we can avoid most of it. Oh my god, it hits us from so far away. Oh, we got it. We got it, but it didn't give us anything. No! Okay, so these things are supposed to drop stuff. And I was kind of guessing, like, this would be the place where we would find some of the stuff to move us forward. But um, it's not looking like the case. I mean, we can obviously explore a little more, but I don't think we're prepared for this. I think we need a little more armor in order to, uh, to be here. Maybe some better weapons, so let's get out of here. Definitely loads a lot quicker now that we have loaded everything in. We just got to remember not to, uh, not to shift click on that boy or shift when we are uh, standing on that. The other thing I was kind of curious on, I was thinking about. So for our torches. Oh, I thought I heard something. Okay. For our torches. So we have been upgrading all of our other ones to these. But for these fiber torches. So an unlit one is a stick. So one stick and a twine. Which is not bad. We got plenty of those. And then if we use that. We can make. Oh yeah, you can use unlit ones too. Okay, so it's way better if you make the fiber torch first and then add coal to it because you get double your output. Definitely the way to go here. Let's craft those up. Let me get this. Make as many as we can. Get this. Make as many as we can. 32, which is not bad. All right, so cool. That is definitely the way to go because from our 16 coal, we were able to get 32 torches from that, um, which is definitely not bad at all. So I think we'll end the episode there though because we've done plenty, well, kind of done plenty this episode. Uh, we got our Necronomicon going. We'll have to look into this a little more. I'm not super familiar with the mod, so... Um, I don't know what we need to do to get that. So I'll have to do a little research. Uh, same with the blood altar. We could always obviously go back like I've been saying and do this horse stuff, which we might actually do because I am getting a little tired of chopping my own wood. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to just have a horse that would go and do it for you. And we have plenty of space up here that we could easily make that uh, seven by seven that it was asking for. So like uh, one, two, three, oh, let's put a torch down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, easily would have enough space. One, two, three. All right, just like that. Yeah. 
So we would easily have enough space to do our uh, a horse up here if we were to do that. We just need to craft leads and leather and stuff like that, which I can always do between episodes. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below or better yet, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking on this series. If you want to see anything, if, if you have any recommendations. Oh, that is the one last thing I wanted to talk on before we um get out of here i did realize there is a way to fix your items i've literally just been scrapping them this whole entire time um i don't know why i didn't realize this before but if you take your um your weapon or your tool put it in a crafting with a cobblestone it increases its durability back up i don't know why i haven't been doing that and i've just been crafting new ones all the time um i mean no no one out there has left a comment for me yet so i'm guessing you know, it's not, not everyone knows, or maybe not everyone's playing along. So I just wanted to point that out um, for you all. So you knew if you were playing along, there is a way to, um, to just make your durability higher without having to recraft the whole entire item, which is definitely a better way to go about it than recrafting and spending more materials than you need to. So, um, but anyway, Again, guys, thank you so much. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted to the channel. But other than that, thank you for sticking through till the end. I will catch you all in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.